Pies are a wonderful people to whom manners are a gift and respect an unwritten law. Welcome to Taiwan. International Thai tennis star Tammy Tennisugarn has just been named the first woman as well as Asian UN sports messenger. Tammy firmly believes in sports as an alternative to drug use to cope with the pain, isolation, abuse and neglect present in today's society. Any activity that can help people, especially youth, to express and release their emotions is a welcome alternative to drug use. For the second year, the United Nations Drug Control Program organized the International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking at Siam Discovery Center in Bangkok. The event marked the start for other projects and sporting events this year. The United Nations has decided to, to choose uh, Mr. Marin Tanakusar, who is uh, a very well-known uh, tennis player in Thailand, as the first woman ever in the world to become uh, a young sport messenger against drugs. She had discovered that it's better to be high on sports than being high on drugs. And she's, a, she's a, an, an example, a model, of a, a better lifestyle for all the youth and she has sent a call, an appeal to all the youth of, of Thailand and of Asia to get rid of drugs and decide to get high on sports. And this appeal was heard throughout the Golden Triangle during the Bicycle Against Drugs 2001 tour. The voluntary bicycle team left the UN on June 9th on a mission of goodwill and friendship throughout the northeast of Thailand and then on to the other corners of the Golden Triangle. Mr. Kim Hak Su, Executive Secretary of the UNSCAP, sent them off on the journey with a torch, the flame of commitment, a symbol for a better humanity, and a mission to fight against drug abuse, trafficking, and other threats to human security. He also delivered a speech on behalf of Kofi Annan, expressing the importance to focus greater attention on young people especially vulnerable to pressure from pushers and peers, and to promote alternatives to drug-taking lifestyles, emphasizing the importance of this year's theme, sports and drugs. Just like Tammy Tanisugarn, who learned that sports are not only about winning, but also about respect for oneself and respect for others, she hopes that sport can give them new meaning to life, just as it did to her. Along the route, the team stopped to mobilize people, families, and communities to combat drug activities and related damages. They transmitted a message of freedom from narcotics drugs and the prevention of drug abuse along some of the very same roads that are illegally used for trafficking drugs. They also collected over 500,000 signatures, the People's Movement for Drug-Free Society. The books containing these signatures were presented to the UN Secretary General's attention. The vast number of signatures collected expressed the desire of local involvement to overturn the hold that drugs have on this drug-ridden area. Professor Damrong Ryan Prayum, director of the Red Cross Volunteers Bureau, told me how very proud he is of the work done by the Student Volunteer Anti-Drug Abuse Program, which began in 1997. He explained how the program is successful due to its ever-expanding nature, as people transmit what they have learned to others. Twenty-two schools teach students and teachers about the dangers of drugs. Once instructed, they can then go and train others to help each other, their friends, their schools, and communities. Professor Damron speaks with joy as he tells us that their program presently has over 300,000 members. Other sporting events are also organized, like the Red Cross Annual Kings Cup, or this year's celebrity anti-drug football match in November. Don't miss all the movie stars that will be present at the Supachalasai National Stadium. The key to alleviating the drug problem is team playing. The importance of acquiring self-confidence and respect. To tackle the roots of the problem with positive action and viable substitution, rather and fight a battle through oppression. 